it's so nice to see some familiar faces and some new faces. Thank you for joining. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Jules Weinberg, and I am a doTERRA Blue Diamond, and I'm also the author of The Essential Mixologist and my newest book, The Essential Foodie. And before we get going, I really want to thank Oil Life. I mean, these guys have been really beautiful partners for me on this book, and I couldn't have done it without them. I think we all understand what it takes to do something in life, and we never do it alone. We always do it with a team. And Oil Life has been an incredible team. I really just want to thank D Jason Plant. He is a, a partner of mine on this book, Quinn Curtis. She's been amazing. And of course, Courtney Trask, newly, newly wedded and changed her last name on me. But she's behind all of this and, and this beautiful presentation here today that I get to share with all of you. So thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Let me see if I can go into this mode. Does everyone see this now as well? Okay, perfect. Problem is, is it doesn't let me see the slides in the same way. It's always fun to get this just right, <laughs> how we want it. There we go. I think I have it how I want it. So I have a love for many things. And I think my greatest love for things, not for people, <laughs> is food and essential oils. I just adore these two things. And from very early on when I began my journey with essential oils, before I even found doTERRA, I was playing with essential oils and, and incorporating them into drinks and incorporating them into food. And I love doing this, but there was such a limitation around it because as all of us who are with doTERRA here know that our oils are different. The quality is above and beyond. And so what limited oils I had access to over the years, that limited the amount that I could play. And when I was introduced to doTERRA, it took almost two years before Meredith and I began building a business, but I started playing in the kitchen immediately. I mean, I started playing with essential oils, doTERRA essential oils in the kitchen before I started teaching a class, before I even knew I could teach a class. And oh boy, did I have fun because it just opened up my world to a variety of flavors and flavor profiles that, you know, really just blew me away. And so that was very exciting. And my business story collides with that because for me, it was very, very natural to share essential oils through a culinary experience. And that's kind of how I, how I came out of the gate. And I just really wanted to share this with everyone. I really wanted people to see how easy it is to share them in this way. And so I tell my team this, you know, don't do anything too crazy until you're at the goal that you want to get to, whatever that goal is. If that goal is gold or platinum or diamond, for us it was diamond. And so I waited until we hit diamond. I think I actually waited until we hit, it may have been blue diamond when I put out the essential mixologist. I don't remember. <laughs> but I waited until we were where we wanted to be so that I could take the right time and energy and focus on, on putting out the best product that I could and, and the essential mixologist was born and now I have followed it up with the essential foodie. So I'm so excited to share with all of you how I've used essential oils uh, through sharing drink and food to build our business. And I have especially made that um, clear and laid it out in the essential foodie. And, and that's the point of all of us being here today is I'm going to show you how you can use this beautiful book to build your doTERRA business. So. Again, thank you for being here and let's take a ride together. Let's take a culinary adventure together. A culinary invitation is a backdoor invitation to wellness. And just like sit with this for a minute here because I feel like talking about food and drink is so easy. People either love to eat or they love to cook. Oh, my screen didn't forward. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know that. We can't see the screen. Okay. You know what? We'll just go back to basics and I will 
I will stop the share and I will reshare. I, oh, whatever I just did work. I don't know. I've got Meredith who's helping me here and I thank her for that. What would I do without her? What would a lot of us do without her? Okay, I'm not gonna share in the big full screen because I don't wanna lose you again, but can everyone see this, this screen? Okay, and did you see this one? Okay, so we all saw this one and now we're going to this one. So a culinary invitation is a backdoor invitation to wellness. So I was saying that people either love to eat or they love to cook. They usually fit into one of those two categories. And some people love both. Some people love to eat and they love to cook. And I have found that essential oils are such a beautiful body of work, right? We could spend our lives learning about the beauty of sharing essential oils. And what I have found is when it comes to the wellness conversation, sometimes it's a little glitchy. Not all the time, but sometimes it's a little glitchy because there's so much there. And everybody is so bio-individually unique. And so when we meet someone new and we're inviting them into our business, whether to become a customer or to become a wellness advocate, we're really nuancing what these people need for their own health and well-being. And sometimes that takes time, right? It takes a lot of education and it's good. We're good at it. We're well-trained. We've got a great company and they provide us with excellent tools. But what I have found is that the culinary conversation, it's easy, it's fun, it's joyful. And it is that backdoor invitation to wellness because eventually the culinary conversation becomes a conversation about wellness. Because if we're incorporating essential oils into our drinks and into our food, we're getting that additional support for our bodies. We're getting that additional support for mind and mood and immune system. It's all there. It's all there. And then it's really fun because all, and I would say every single essential oil that you would incorporate into foods and drinks have a medicinal purpose. There's a, there's a medicinal use for them. So it's so much fun to have someone in their culinary arsenal have, for instance, basil, but now when there's some trouble going on in the ear canal, <laughs> I'm gonna keep this very compliant. There's a little ear canal issue going on and they have that basil and so they can use that basil and it's there because they've already incorporated it into their culinary arsenal because they're making maybe a pesto, hopefully from, from the essential foodie. So this is fun and eating leads to wellness, right? So just keep that in mind. Okay, just a little rundown on the book before we get into it, because I'm, I'm going to teach you how to use this as a business tool, but I wanted to give you a content breakdown. So in addition to the book, having you know, my story, what I call a purist perspective, so I'm teaching about you know, choosing ingredients that are uh, pure, natural, things that are not mass produced, not genetically modified. In addition to that, elements of doTERRA is a company, um, education around co-impact sourcing, CPG, T, C, CPTG certification, um, and some essential oil education as well. In addition to these things, the actual culinary uh, aspects of the book, the content breakdown is right here. I designed the book as a tapas experience because I love the idea of coming together and sharing experiences together. And so everything is meant to be shared. And the, the content goes as follows. There's a dressings, marinades, and condiments section, tapas style dips, spreads, and dollops, and then tapas style, I call it flexitarian. So there's a lot of vegetarian, uh, some seafood, poultry, and meat, a savory soup section, What's more fun than sharing soup with, with others? You always make a big pot of it. I don't think people make soup for one unless they're opening up a can, which they hopefully are not. And I talk about finishing with aromatic integration. This is a way to enhance food uh, by infusing essential oils into maybe like an olive oil or some other type of oil or salt and finishing with this. And then I gave a little bonus and did a libation chapter and gave 10 more recipes for, for drinks. So this is just the way that it breaks down. I wanted you to have just a, an idea of, of the content of the book. And here's one recipe, just so you can get a feel of what it looks like if you don't have the book yet. I don't even have the book yet. I know some of you that have ordered it have it. <laughs> it hasn't made it to me yet. I know my copies are on the way. Um, I'm very, very excited. 
But here's an example of, of what it looks like. I've made it hopefully very easy. Here's a fennel and wild orange digestivo dressing. And so each recipe is laid out with the ingredients. I tell a little story how to bring it together. And then we have something called the drop down, which will give you a little essential oil education on each of the oils that are incorporated into the recipe. So that's just a little sneak peek. Okay, now we're gonna get into why you all came here, which is how to use this to build your business. I'm drinking some chai and it does have some clove and some cinnamon. And I put a little cardamom in there for some respiratory support. So in doTERRA, we all talk about the three paths, the three paths, the three paths, right? There's three different ways that we participate in doTERRA. And so I thought, let me take the book and just lay it on the three paths, make it very, very easy since we all speak the same language, doTERRA, that's our language. So first path is, is live, and those are our users. Now, customers who are looking for unique ways to incorporate essential oils into their lifestyle, this is perfect for them, right? Because a customer, we want, we have a 65% retention rate in doTERRA, and we want to keep that strong and maybe even get that higher, at least in our own organization. And we talk all the time on our team calls, you know, there's a 65% retention rate, but don't forget there's also a 25% attrition rate, right? Because if it's not 100% retention, some, something's getting away. And so we want to provide our customers with really fun, new, exciting ways to use the oil. So helping them incorporate the oils into the kitchen is going to help make a stronger customer, right? If they have another way to use them. And then also creating customers, new customers that you don't have yet in your organization, new customers by teaching them, the culinary enthusiasts who are looking for unique ways to amp things up in the kitchen, teaching them about essential oils. So again, this is in the live part of how we build our doTERRA business. And we have a lot of customers, you know, most of our organizations are made up by a, a very strong customer base. And so getting the customers excited about incorporating essential oils into their kitchen and getting new customers excited about essential oils by showing them the possibilities of it. And you can do that through the book because there's a lot of really great recipes. And I think I make it really easy. I hope I do. And uh, hopefully that translates. The second path is sharing. So we have, we have our users and then we have our sharers. Now, if someone's sharing, you know, those are the people that, you know, they're great customers, they're users. You can't be a sharer without being a user. And they're telling everybody because they're excited, you know, and they just can't help it. And this creates another talking point for them. And so helping them be aware that there's another talking point. You know, you're sharing essential oils already. What about sharing them this way? And it also makes it easy because if someone's sharing, like here's a great example. I had a wonderful thing happen where the universe just was incredibly abundant and gifted Meredith and I with, I think about 20 pounds of beautiful tomatoes. I mean, just for free. And so I brought all these tomatoes home. And of course, I'm going to make a tomato sauce with these tomatoes. And I made this beautiful tomato sauce. And when I use tomato, when I make tomato sauce, I always add at the end, I add oregano. And there's a nice recipe in the book for a tomato soup. And that's immune enhancing, right? It'll give your immune system a nice boost. And so what I did is I had all these extra mason jars, as I always do, because I'm a mason jar girl. And I made small mason jars for all of our neighbors and just brought them over a gift and said, here's some tomato sauce that I made. And I added a little oregano oil that's going to enhance your immune system, give you a little boost right now. We can all use that. Some of our neighbors are already customers and maybe some of them share. And so that gave them the idea like, wow, Jules put some oregano in this tomato sauce. I can do that. And I can share that with my family and friends. So it just gives them another means of, of being able to share these beautiful gifts of the earth. Okay, now we'll get into it. The build. <laughs> my, favorite, my favorite one of the three, right? I love them all. That's not true. I'm sure we have a lot of customers here as well. They're all equally valuable. 
but I love to build. I love this business. It's exciting. I can't think of a, a more exciting way to earn, earn my keep on this planet by sharing these beautiful gifts of the earth. And so when we look at building, I've broken this down and this is going to get fun, hopefully, because I'm going to share with you menu ideas from the book. But I've broken it down into four different ways that as builders, we can use this book to grow our business. An essential oils class, courting new builders, a team meeting. Hopefully, if you're a good leader, you're having your team meet. I know it's strange and we're in the times of corona and maybe getting together in person isn't happening as often. I know when we're not in these times, Meredith and I would like to have our local team over, you know, here and there and share a meal together, do a training together, do some team building and then dinner with friends. And I'm going to get into the dinner with friends because friends become customers and sometimes friends become wellness advocates. So if you want to get people's attention, feed them. It's that simple. I've never really had someone put their attention elsewhere when I was feeding them. <laughs> it's the best way to get someone's attention. They feel cared for. They feel nurtured. They feel seen by you. They feel like it's a gift that you've given them to nourish someone's body and to give them of yourself in that way. It's just such a beautiful thing. And if you think about it, business happens around food. Business happens over drinks. It happens over coffee, tea, lunch, dinner. This is how it goes. Even in the movies, right? Well, let's do lunch. We'll meet for dinner. You have people over for dinner. This is how it goes. And so just keep that in mind. And if you have something that you can do with them while you're presenting and you're feeding them, you're going to have their attention. So the first piece that we'll talk about in, in this build path is your essential oils class. So again, when we're teaching in person, let's just imagine a world where we teach in person again, because it's going to happen. And so we'll call that time in. So if we're teaching an essential oils class, now I want to keep this really simple and I want to honor, uh, you know, we are students of Elise Shedevy and she is a mentor and, and we follow the way that she teaches 100% because it's brilliant. And I know we're not meant to complicate things, but putting a little something out, I don't think is a big deal. And keeping the costs low is very, very important. So there's a variety of things that you can choose in the book. And I've laid it out and made it easy for you if you, if you need it. If you're the type of person that just wants it done for you, here's a couple of things. I would recommend something from the, the top as dips dips and spreads section, something easy that you can make where people can just take a little dollop or a dip and have a taste. And then some kind of beverage. I recommended the, the cucumber cooler here, but just something where they can get an idea and a flavor profile on these essential oils. And of course, then you can tell them the wellness benefits to them as well. So incorporating them into an essential oils class, I feel is a, a very good thing to do. A potential business partner. Now, I want to really be clear here. You can spend a lot of money if you start thinking every potential business partner is someone that you're going to woo and have them over to your home and serve them up an array of things to taste. Again, if we're going by Elise's training and we're using her seven-star rating system, I'm recommending that if you're going to have a potential business partner over to do something like this with, make sure they're anywhere from a five, six, or seven, hopefully a seven, <laughs> because it's going to be a little bit of an investment, but it's a good investment. And the way that I recommend doing it is inviting this person, or maybe it's a couple over to your home. And here's a, a curated experience that I lay out for you in the book. Feel free to mix and match. The idea is to give them an experience. The idea is to have them come in and offer them something to drink. You sit down, you begin talking a little bit. Whatever is in that drink, maybe here I put the ginless juniper spritz, okay? So you're using a little juniper berry. And you say, at some point, not aggressively, you know, how, how are you liking this drink? By the way, 
This has some juniper berry oil in it. And let me tell you a little bit about juniper berry oil. And maybe you give them a little information about some of the, the properties of juniper berry oil and how by just imbibing that drink into their system, they're getting some support. And that's just fun. That just starts the conversation. And then you kind of take it wherever it goes. It doesn't have to be all about essential oils or doTERRA or the business, but you, you just do this nice dance. And then you bring out some appetizers. Again, you pick and choose. I've got a few things here from the first section of the book, which is that the tapas style dips and dollops and spreads. So you put a few things out and now you're picking on here. I have my superfood spinach pesto and elevated mango salsa and then a little cheese with, with some infused um, homemade jelly on top. I think that one has rosemary oil in it. And now everybody's having a fun time. And at the same time, oh, by the way, you know, rosemary oil, if there's alcohol in the drink, may help detoxify and help the body metabolize this drink that we're having. Oh, well, that's interesting. Tell me more about that. And you start to have this really beautiful organic experience unfold with this person or these people that could potentially become partners with you. It's fun. We've done it before and we've had a, a lot of success with it. In fact, we may have some people that we've done this with on the team and, and here today. So it's just a suggestion. And again, we ask, you know, I ask that you just be mindful about it because I'm not inviting you to spend a lot of money every time you think that you may have a potential business partner, but I think it could be really fun. And I know that you would give them a wonderful experience. It's a conversation starter and eventually it leads into more about the business. And then a team meeting. Again, you know, in different times, I think it's so important to gather with your team. It really builds morale, camaraderie. You know, it just feels good to be with one another. And Meredith and I always like to spoil the team a little bit. And so if you have your team over for a gathering, maybe you're gonna go over convention notes, you know, when you're getting together. And so you have the team over and you give them a drink, you know, you put out a, a little appetizer board and maybe you make a pot of the soup because that's an easy thing to do and an, 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 an inexpensive thing to do with a lot of people. And you make a soup here. I, I, suggested, I suggested the essential roasted garlic and butternut squash soup. And what's really cool is, you know, not everybody can take in every bit of information about this business all at once. It's a slow game sometimes, right? It's like, what do they call it? You know, like the elephant, you know, like taking little bits off at a time because it's so big, it's so much information. And so I think the, the less information you give someone at once, the better off it is for them, right? And if you bring them to the home and you have a meeting where you're putting out some things that they're enjoying, it's putting new ideas, it's planting new seeds, you know, and now they're like, wow, I didn't know you could put this in a soup. This is incredible. You know, what did you put in this? And now you're talking about the oils that you use. So you're educating your team. And when you educate your team, they duplicate what you teach them. And then they go out and they do that. So it builds for a stronger business. So that's another way. And this is one of my favorite ways to, to share the oils with the intention of maybe building the business because I truly believe that, that your friends become customers or wellness advocates over time, right? Meredith and I have built in a very gentle way. We're not very aggressive. I think doTERRA is not a very aggressive company, so we probably all are like-minded in that way. We just drip on people. Over time, we drip a little here, we drip a little there. You get the right group of friends together on the right night with the right atmosphere, you know, little music, good lighting, and you start to have a drink together. Here I recommended my Indian spice spritz. It's just delicious. You put out a nice appetizer board, you know, and now you're eating together. This is all tapas style again. So small plates, the food's coming out slowly. Everybody's having a chance to really taste it to experience it, to enjoy it. You know, someone says, this is incredible, this elevate, this ceviche, what is in this? It's so citrusy. <laughs> you know, when you start talking about the citrus oils that are in it and they say, well, I know you use essential oils, but I didn't know that you could use them in this way. You know, I know you've put lemon in my water before, but now you've put it in the ceviche. 
this is how the conversation just unfolds. And it's very, it's very organic, you know, and it wouldn't surprise me. It's happened for us, you know, whether it's on that first dinner or a couple of dinners in that these friends become interested and they say, you know what? I really liked everything you made. Maybe I will get an account. And can you just write down all the oils you like the exact oils that we ate in our meal tonight? Or, you know, you've been having so much fun doing this. And this is, this is another way that you share, like, maybe I do want to build with you. You know, it's interesting times right now. And so you'd be surprised at, at, at the openness in people right now. It's very different than it used to be. So, okay, I'm going to take another sip of my chai. I hope everybody's enjoying this. I am, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So let's look at what a, a proposed culinary starter kit could be. Now, I say this with little confidence because I don't have any pull at doTERRA. <laughs> but I do believe that I've created some interest with the people that do have the pull and can make the decisions. And if we all just focus our energy and attention, maybe in 2021, we could have something that's along the lines of a culinary starter kit, maybe. I'm not making any promises. It's just something that I'm hopeful for and I feel hopeful by the conversations I've had. But until then, we can make our own. So this is just a proposed culinary starter kit and I picked the oils that I felt would be appropriate could be used in more ways than one. And I looked at price point and we'll go into that because we're gonna do some math. So I chose basil, black pepper, cardamom, coriander, fennel, ginger, lemon, lemongrass, rosemary, and wild orange, okay? It wasn't arbitrary, the numbers happened to work, but I like these oils and I think it's a good place to start. And so if this was the kit, let's, let's do some math. If this was the kit, this kit would cost $200 for the oils. It would be 200 PV. And you'd have a $35 enrollment fee on that, because you would, unless we can get it to be a, an enrollment kit down the road, we'll see. And so the total cost would be $235. And then you'd have your shipping and taxes. I didn't incorporate that, but you know, just wherever you are. If you're in Oregon, you have no taxes. If you're somewhere else, you might have six or seven percent, and then add the shipping. You will get a forty dollar fast start on that. Okay, the book is priced at nineteen ninety nine. Now, if you purchase the book in bulk, I know Oil Life has done. Um, you know, you can get it for less if you if you purchase it in bulk. It's going to be less than that. Okay, but we'll just use this average. We'll use nineteen ninety nine. If you were to offer someone a free book to enroll with this kit because they're excited about using the essential oils in their, in their kitchen, right? And you offered them this book, you'd still have a $20 profit. So that's a $20 investment into your business for the possibility to create a 65% possibility to create a lifelong customer. I think that's, those are pretty good numbers. And then if you do your job and you get them, you know, on the, in the loyalty rewards program, then there's other fast starts that will be earned potentially down the road. And if they get really excited and start to share, we know how this goes. And if they get really excited and they start to build, well, now we're in the conversation of residual income and, and why we all love this industry and, and this business and this company. So that is the math. And here are my parting thoughts. This is a little excerpt from my book, Food is a Connective Tissue. People simply don't connect in the same ways anymore. We bury our heads in our phones and surf around social media sites trying to fill that innate human need connection. I believe there is no replacement for the real thing and I believe food, the act of cooking and eating together, can serve as a lifeline for us to connect to one another. We gather in the kitchen, we cook, we eat, we talk, we laugh and we share all in the name of a meal. Food opens doors to cultures, ethnicities, and traditions. It provides the foundation for us to be with one another, belly to belly. 
And I do hope that we can all be with one another belly to belly again one day, very, very soon. So this is my presentation. Um, I don't know if there's anyone in the chat. I'm going to take it off screen share and I will look in the chat and see if there's some questions that I can answer here. Let me just, if you don't mind giving me a second to go through here. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Aloha. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Okay. The exact name of the book. The exact name of the book is The Essential Foodie. And you can purchase that. Oh, Oil Life. Courtney already did that. Awesome. Yes, you can purchase this at oillife.com. She's put the link up there. Okay, good. Okay, beautiful. Thank you so much. So I'll ask, does anyone have any questions? Because I'm happy to answer them if you want to put them up in the in the chat. That's going to be the easiest way to do it because I know Courtney has everyone on mute. So if anyone has any questions, um, I, I this went by a lot faster than I thought and I'm happy about that. So I'm happy to answer. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, I see we have some of our team members here. So I just want to thank our team, Team Cultivate Wellness. I think the best team in doTERRA. And thank you so much for being here. I love all of you. You're so wonderful and supportive. And Meredith and I are so grateful. So they've gotten their, okay, okay. Once they've gotten their starter kit, what classes would you teach if they're wanting to have one? What classes would you teach it? Okay. Well, so the starter kit for me, you know, I wrote this book and I believe in continuing education. In fact, we're running a continuing education series. You know, we're again, we're like students of Elise. We love her. And so we do it in the way doTERRA teaches. We always teach an essential oils 101 class. Always. I think it's foundational. It's important that people know how to use these oils and know how to use them safely. And so I want people to have that, that foundation. And so that's always like our out of the gate class. A culinary class is a continuing education class. And so it's, I have my oils, now what do I do with them? Well, you can do this with them, you can do that with them, you can cook with them. So if someone purchases this kit, I would still get them to an essential oils 101 class, be, be it that online or in person and help them get a good foundation. And if they're there and you know they're there, that's when you can say, um, I'm trying to think of an oil, like, you know, you're teaching about wild orange and you say, oh, and by the way, this is in your kit and it's on, it's in the fennel and digestivo dressing in the essential foodie and like bring them into the conversation, tie in the culinary stuff. I always do that anyway. I, we tell the team all the time, read the room, you know, and whoever's in the room, make them feel like they're a part of the, the conversation. And so if you have a mama there with young babies, throw in some mama and young baby stuff, <laughs> you know, make everybody feel like they're a part of it. Okay. Have you worked with pampered chef reps? Oh, you know what? I have some of those. Um, I have a garlic press from them from years ago. A friend of ours did that and that thing just doesn't quit. It's really good. Um, I have, I don't know, maybe I have, but not, not to my knowledge. I don't know if we've ever, maybe Meredith would know that. Do we have any of those on the team? Maybe we do. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. How many recipes rec recommend to demo if doing a CE class or cooking 101 Zoom class? Oh, how many recipes to demo? Well, you know, when you're, when you're doing, it's not like on the Food Network, right? Where they have it all made and they make it seem so seamless and you're like doing it live. So it really, it takes a lot. I've done demos before where I've cooked things. I don't know if I've done more than a couple of things when I do it. Um, I think a drink is very easy. Uh, a dressing is very easy. You know, something that you can just pour and shake and, and serve. So if you're going to go simple like that, I think you could do two or three things. If something's more involved and you're chopping and putting in an vitamin, you know, if you're doing something like that, just keep it simple and maybe just go with one thing. I think maybe do a series, you know, I'm going to do a dressing and now I'm going to do a tapa and, you know, do it like that. Um, the audience was okay. How many books in a case? Okay, great question. Uh, that's a question for Courtney. 
Um, 12? It's not fair of me to answer because I just don't know. I'm thinking of beer. Beer is a case, a case of 12. I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe Courtney will jump in here. Okay, do you like using rose and lavender oils for cooking? I love it. Yes, yes. There's a recipe um, in the book on infusing some lavender into salt and then finishing it on some chocolate, like really high-end chocolate, which is so easy because you can get the chocolate, but then make it your own with some fleur de sel or like, you know, something really nice. Um, and rose, I love. Uh, our rose oil isn't the cheapest. Um, you know, you can ingest fractionated coconut oil. You, you actually can. Um, it's just weird to open the roller ball so doTERRA doesn't put the supplement facts on the back. So you could do something really wonderful with, with Rose. And uh, there's a nice cacao dreams in the essential mixologist that infuses lavender into the drink. But I love lavender. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Mayor. Um, that's what I do. Okay. It looks like. Okay. Okay. Courtney's checking the bulk pricing. They don't have it yet, but it'll come out. We're excited for, for this to be a tool, you know, when Jason and I talked a lot about that and we think, we think it's going to be bought in bulk, probably more than one offs. Mm. Okay. Did I miss something? Any other questions? I enjoy interacting with you. Good. Okay. I think this is it then. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I'm so incredibly grateful for your time. I think this book not only makes a wonderful business tool, but a wonderful gift. And as the holidays are just around the corner, I do hope that, that you will feel the same and consider us uh, on your Christmas gift shopping list. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Mwah.